And I think we're on our last topic. Whoa. Yeah, already? I know. I know. Like, uh, th this one was a good episode. Uh, romantic movies. Okay. Uh, I have a list of movies here. I, I did a quick Google. It's like uh, most romantic movies of all time. And some, like, there's different lists that popped up. I pretty much picked movies where I felt both of us have seen. Okay. We, we might, like, uh, there might be one or two that you haven't seen and vice versa. Um, but, like, I figured we could talk about it. All right. The first one that comes up is The Notebook. Ooh. That's uh, the one with Ryan Gosling mm -hmm. and the other chick. Rachel McAdams? <laughs> Rachel, yeah, yeah, there you go. Whatever happened to her? I don't know. She was in a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what else she was in? Uh, I think it was like a Canadian series about a group of Shakespearean actors. Freaks. Slings and Arrows. Uh, I was going to say Freaks and Geeks. <laughs> I'm joking. Really good. Slings and Arrows? Yeah, really, really good. And I think that, I think that might be where I first saw her. Okay anyway yes the notebook i think growing up i think it was common for like guys to be like Ugh, i don't, I don't want to see that i think i was probably insecure about that i was like Ugh, i don't want to see that I, I would probably uh, appreciate it more now oh yeah okay that sounds like a good movie to watch oh damn it yeah that's, <laughs> it's a good movie I, it is a good movie i remember it i just remember like the scene in the rain yeah and like it's like i wrote to you every single day or something like that. I just remember like how powerful and impactful that was. I, I feel like uh, we're starting off really hot and then we're going to go like, eh. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, the next movie up, Titanic. Okay, Titanic. Was that romantic to you? It, yeah, it was. You always wanted to get sketched like that? I want to be, because like, I have a curvy body. Ooh. And uh, I, want, I want my body to be sketched in calligraphy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, was so, it romantic? It was romantic. You know, it's funny. I never considered it a romantic movie. I think a lot of these movies, I didn't, oh, except The Notebook. Right, that one's obvious. Yeah, but I didn't think a lot of these movies were romantic. Like, I, I didn't consider them romantic, or I never thought of it that way until mm -hmm. today. So, what did you like about The Titanic? Well, originally seeing The Titanic, I was anti-seeing it. The first time I saw it, I did not react to it with what it deserved because people had built it up so much yeah. that they built it up so high that I just couldn't enjoy it. But when I rewatched it, like, this is really a good movie. I wish they had just shut up and let me have my own thoughts <laughs> so I could enjoy it. Nice. And, I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio... He's a great actor. Still I, killing it. He's still killing it. I'd love to do a movie with him sometime. He's so talented. Kate Winslet, also amazing. Is, is, she, still, is she still acting? Yeah. Yeah. They're, I mean, their acting was incredible. Uh, for me, in terms of the romance, it's funny. Because you would think, I, I mean, I am a pretty romantic person, but... I don't remember finding the movie romantic. Yes. Yeah, I just remember feeling like that's irresponsible. This is not going to end well. Oh, what's going on? It was a little bit stressful for me, but of course there were moments I thought, yeah, that's a lot of fun. They're dancing together. When they, when she went downstairs to, to dance with his, was he Irish? Yeah. The Irish music and whatnot. The, that, the, the, the lower ca class. Yeah. But when she went down there, I was like, yeah, that was so fun. That was really cool. Dancing's a thing. Oh, that reminds me. That? Strictly Ballroom is not on this list. Oh, I've never seen it. Add it to the list. If you guys have seen Strictly Ballroom, I think you'll agree with me. That movie was so good. I feel like that's like the classical version of Breaking. Of Breaking? Uh, it's a like a eighties like like breakdancing movie. Oh, is it? I don't know. I just remember it like it, it was so corny. Like I, I was in middle school and I, I remember this as a kid. <laughs> and like there's this one part <laughs> where like uh, it's like you know why I do this is why this is why I dance. And then like he just starts breaking into break dancing. Uh -huh. I just remember how like he was so like this is this is why I do what I do. This is why I dance. Uh, 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 wow, his break dancing is so good right now, you guys. For those of you who can't see it, uh, uh, like all shoulders. Uh, so amazing. Uh, uh. So. Amazing amazing i'm so glad yeah so i feel Hashtag like tag blast yeah i feel like i should be after that dance move i should be in the jabberwockies yeah but titanic i can see why they thought it was romantic for me there were other aspects of that movie that were drawing me in more than the romance actors were fantastic yes i will watch it again nice yeah I, i'd watch it too 
Uh, I will only watch it. <laughs> I will only watch it on the VCR on the VHS format with the two VHS tapes. All right. Good that's the only way I'll watch know. it because that's how I know it. Oh, you know why know. I didn't think it was romantic was because I when I was I, it came out like when I was in middle school. Mm-hmm. And I remember we were learning about the Titanic. Like our teacher at the time was all about Titanic. Like she was like a, a history buff when it came to that. So w- going into it, I just thought it was a like an educational movie. That makes sense. With sex. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess from the from the stance of they really like saw each other. You know, not just naked, but what I remember the movie they saw each other they were interested in who each other really was yeah and that aspect okay yes it was romantic my association with it just isn't as a romantic film I thought what was romantic at the end like uh was like when she took his name oh I forgot about yeah. that. yeah that is yeah that's romantic. that was romantic and like she didn't have to pay for it either for his name oh the only thing she paid for is that he died but she had all that extra money well, I was saying to, she didn't have to pay for her wedding. I, I figured you were making a joke. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, I, tried. I did not help. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, why can't you play along? No. Uh, another romantic movie, I don't think you've seen this one, A Walk to Remember. Who's in that? What's that movie even about? Uh, I think it's it's a Nicholas Sparks film. Okay, so that's... So it's like The okay. Notebook, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Mandy Moore's in it. I don't I, I don't remember mm. the lead of the of the the male actor but the only reason i like i put this on the list obviously because it's romantic but i just remember there was like a there was a scene where the male actor like asked like i think mandy Moore for like a bucket list of things she wants to accomplish i think she was dying in the movie oh i i think i'm not sure but like the way i remember it (laughs) yeah um but what was romantic was there, there, like one of the things she asked for. She, she was just like, she was like, I want to be in two places at one time. <gasps> so what he did was he took her to the state line. Oh, thank goodness! It's, I'm so glad that that wasn't a Ted Bundy situation. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's your not, mind went violent. It really did. It went, you know, that's, you just gotta be careful what you tell men because some of them are crazy. This was in 1960, so like men uh, were also crazy in 1960. Okay, honey. <laughs> no, but but that Ted, Ted Bundy thing is out on uh, Amazon Prime now. Yeah, the so, documentary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I suppose that's why I was thinking about it. The ad just came up not too long eh, ago. It's okay. But anywho, like. Uh, yeah, like so. What was romantic was like he took her to two places at one time. That is romantic. Yeah, right. And then he murdered her and then oh, split God, the body up. That's horrible. Ted Bundy style. Buddy. A bun- I I slurred my words. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Bundy, <laughs> Liberty. Who's the one drinking? I know. Sure. Drink- I gotta stay hydrated. You gotta stay with, hydrated. With Merlot. Okay, there's one thing that is not on the list here. There's more than one, but as we tell you, the ones that were on the list, I have to say, walk in the clouds okay not on the list should be on the list if you haven't seen it what are you doing especially if you're a keanu fan like see it i haven't seen it so what am i doing (laughs) this was the movie that like probably sealed the deal for me loving keanu you love keanu i don't love him like love him i love keanu shut up i'm in love with keanu no you're not yeah i am it's like neo you are the one for me i know right okay well yeah no 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 neo that definitely helped but his character in it is awesome. It's such a good movie. It's beautifully shot. Yeah. Nice. You'll like it. I, w- I would. I, w- I probably would. And actually, I think I got that as a gift from a girlfriend of mine on Valentine's Day. Ah. Uh-huh. So that just goes into the whole. How everything just comes together. It comes together, you guys. Um. What else? There are two more movies. This one, I, I don't think you've seen, but maybe you have Silver Linings Playbook. I did. Okay. I don't remember it too I, well. I didn't consider it a romantic movie when I saw it. I did not either. Yeah, like, uh, it, it's crazy how Esquire labels this as a romantic movie. But I guess, like, if you think about it, like, it, it is a love story. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't remember much. <laughs> I don't remember much from it. Like, you know, you see a movie and you're just like, you just move on with life. But I re- the reason I, I got what stuck out to me, it's like, oh, yeah, the main actor... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bradley Cooper. Yeah, Bradley he, Cooper. Uh, he 
he was he had he played a person that with bipolar. And I'm like, oh, I relate to that now. Mm. It's like, oh, that that's what he was going through. I, to be honest, that's what I want to watch the movie now more. Again, I mean, I've seen it once, but I want to watch it again and see what are these things that are being related to. to like, okay, you know, but a beautiful mind. Have you seen that? That's all about schi- schizophrenia. Oh, he has schizophrenia. Yeah. Oh, okay. He might have. Like, I he, thought he, I, it's, it's a good movie on mental health. I gotta watch that again. That that, that was a good movie. There's, Russell Crowe. You know what's Jennifer funny? Connelly, like, right. Yeah. Like uh, there, there's a lot of new movies that come out, but I feel like that I'm so stubborn that I. I I just want to watch the movies that I like. Oh my goodness. What? You want to spend your free time doing things you enjoy? <laughs> you heathen. Uh, well, yeah. Like, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I, I feel like, like I'm being closed minded, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I don't want to, like, I know I like this movie. I know I like this show. Like, I'd rather like. <sighs> That's true. Yeah. Like, like, I'd rather just uh, like do so, like watch something that I enjoy. That makes sense. Yeah. You, I realize that a lot of people, I think when they get older, get more closed minded. But I, f- I feel like I'm the opposite where the older I get, the more open minded I become. Yeah. In a way, when I was younger, I would go to the restaurant and I'd eat the same thing every time because I knew it was good. Give me those chicken strips. <laughs> like yeah. Belgian waffle or, you know, something simple. I'm just going to stick with it. And um, now I'll try different foods and that's brave of you. and same I, even though though like i do wa- i do rewatch some of my favorite shows and favorite movies yeah absolutely but then i feel like i watch so much of it that there's room for new content yeah as well i get it yeah 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 so silver lines playbook that, that, that was a romantic movie and the last movie that <laughs> oh it's the last one huh uh, no there's one more oh this was, this is was listed on uh, romantic movies. Brokeback Mountain. That was that was a romantic movie. Why can't I quit you? That's what I remember about the movie. Yeah. And two wonderful actor, amazing actors in it. Keith Ledger and who else? Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I I, I just uh, I just thought that was funny. I was like, oh yeah, Brokeback Mountain was a was a romantic movie. I just can't quit you. It's interesting, though, in a way. I mean, isn't that with less strife or if people have been socially accepted, but that feeling of I just can't quit you, I suppose that is pretty romantic. I mean, right? You don't quit the person you love. 